How's it guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a really, really easy tutorial that I want to show you. Uh, it's some sort of shaky, rumbly push in transition. I don't even know what to call it, but pretty cool, really easy to do. It looks like this. So the best way to do this type of transition is to have your subject in the middle of the frame, what you're trying to focus on, and to push in really slowly. So I actually film this at 120 frames per second, um, so it's in slow motion. Awesome. So let's get straight into it. Let's just jump on in. I want to show you how easy it is to do this. I've got Premiere Pro open. As you can see, I've got two clips next to each other. This is one shot over here, and it jumps into the next. What is actually happening is this is really one shot. I start out quite wide and then I push in. I pick the point where I want to change to. I'll cut, go to the part of the beginning uh, where it's quite wide and I'll cut. And then what I'll do is I'll take out the middle section and that's basically what's happening. So all you're gonna do is this. I'm gonna zoom in nice and tight so you guys can see. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in between the two uh, videos that you have. Hold down shift and the left key. What that's gonna do gonna make you go back five frames so once you're on your first video you're gonna go up here to position and scale and you're gonna start keyframes you're gonna position and scale them you got five frames to work with and each one you want to get slowly closer and closer and at the same time you want to mess the frames about that's basically what we're doing so I'm gonna do scale in from 100 to 110 and it just gives me a little bit of wiggle room to mess this around and I'll move my left and my right up. Now I press the right arrow key to move forward one frame. I'm going to scale in and let's go to 130. See how it pushes in. Um, let's drop it down a bit. Right key uh, to go to the next frame. I'm going to scale in. Let's do 150 and uh, just move it to the left a bit. Uh, what you want to do is you don't want to you don't want to do some wild crazy movements. You just want to keep it in the center of the frame and just move it slightly up, down, left, right. Uh, and slowly push your scale in as you're moving forward with your frames. Uh, my next one I'll push into, let's go 170. I'm gonna push this one to the right. I'm gonna push it down a bit, not too far. And then I gotta go one more time and uh, I'm gonna scale in at like 190 and push it up. What you wanna do is you wanna break those frames up so there's a bit of a jump effect. So you highlight, this is something I learned from a guy called Kyler Holland. He's just an amazing YouTuber. He does some incredible transitions, so you should check him out. Uh, but you highlight all of your keyframes, you right click and you say temporal interpolation and you click on hold. What's that, what that's gonna do, it's gonna hold the frame for one frame basically until the next frame, but there won't be any movement in between those frames. It's gonna hold it. So you might not pick up the difference, but because it is so quick, it's shifting and it gives a little bit more of a uh, jumpy effect. What you also can do, let me show you with this example. I'm jumping from this clip to this clip. Put myself in between the clips and then hold shift and left arrow to move back five frames. I'll start my scale and my position keyframes. And I'm just gonna fast forward to this so you guys don't have to watch me do it all over again. All right, so this is the point I wanna show you. So I've zoomed in, zoom, zoom, zoom. And uh, I've zoomed in a little bit too far. What it's gonna look like is I'm gonna zoom in really far and then all of a sudden it's gonna jump back to a camera angle that's pushed out rather than in. That's my last frame. It's quite zoomed in and this one is further back. So what I'll do is I'll click my video on my right, the one that's scaled in, and I'll also do a position and a scale keyframe on this one. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to scale in for two frames. I'm gonna start at 120, and you can see that's more or less similar in terms of its scale. Uh, that's the last frame from the previous clip. This is the first frame from this clip. And uh, I'm gonna try and match them up to, to look a bit better. So that's my last frame. This is my new frame. So I'm gonna push everything over to the right, more or less to match it up. There we go. So now it's gonna be a bit of a seamless transition. Um, now I'll push my right arrow once, to my next frame, I'm going to scale down a bit, uh, put this more or less back to 
the middle, a little bit off. Now I'll push right arrow one more time and I'll reset, reset. Because that is gonna set uh, my keyframes back to the normal scale and position for the rest of this video. Then what I'll do, highlight everything, right click, interpolation, hold, same thing with my clip on my left, highlight all of them, right click, hold, and it should look something like this. Pretty cool, eh? You don't see that seamless transition, it zooms in and then slightly zooms out a bit, but it's just a cool way to move from one clip to the next, or take a clip uh, where you're pushing in one long clip and keeping the subject in focus and you can move from one to the other. Don't feel like your second clip has to be at the same camera angle. As long as your subject is in the center, you could come, you could do your first shot as a straight angle down the middle and your second shot can be more of a side angle. But as long as the subject is in the center, it'll give this really cool effect of like scaling in, quick shake, quick rumble, and then all of a sudden the camera angles change. So just really, really simple, really, really easy way to um, transition. Um, I want to thank Kyla, like incredible, incredible YouTube channel. You guys should check him out. That is it. Uh, hey, if you found value in this, please like my channel, subscribe to like my channel, subscribe to my channel, like the video. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. But that is it from me. Uh, see you guys around. Peace.